When I started YouTube, I was so scared. <laughs> I haven't done a Q&A in a while and I've been getting some questions that are repeating so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to answer some of those questions. Can you recommend easy beginner yogas or yogas, yoga videos and a rebounder trampoline? Yes. Uh, my trampoline is by Jump Sport and I got it on Amazon. It's really nice. It doesn't make any noise uh, because it's not with springs. It has like bungee cords instead. Um, so far, no problems. It's a really good trampoline, so I highly recommend it. Beginner yoga videos, I have a couple of ideas for you to check out. Um, first one, Banana Blondie 108. She is a fellow vegan YouTuber, and she does some yoga tutorials on her channel as well as on her website. So go check out her channel, and you can get all the information there. Um, <clears throat> I also recommend Gaia.com. It's kind of like Netflix, but it's got all kinds of yoga videos and documentaries. I, what I love about it is you can go into the search feature for yoga, um, choose beginner, and you can choose the amount of time you want to spend. So you can go, I want to do a yoga video that's under 10 minutes or under 15, that kind of thing. So, incoming sneeze. Uh, yoga with Adrian. She's on YouTube as well. I don't think she's vegan. But she's got a good uh, library of yoga videos. <clears throat> Favorite food right now? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I would say lentil taco meat. Betty Lou's lentil taco meat. I could eat that like four times a week. So kind of a burrito bowl type of thing. It's my favorite food right now. Fruity Foodie asked on YouTube, where, I love the music, where did you get it? I think on that particular video it was a song from bensound.com. Um, I also get some of my music from Vexento on YouTube. I got that recommendation from Derek from Life Inside of a Box. I use some of the stuff from YouTube library. They added a whole bunch of new stuff a few months ago. Alright, so M Michelina Van Loder asks, uh, she, this is after she found out I had Hashimoto's. She's wondering if I found raw foods or cooked foods to be more helpful as far as my immune system recovering. And also, how long have you been vegan? I've been vegan for four, oh, almost five years. Our five year vegan anniversary will be May 20th. So it's coming up on five years. Um, as far as raw or cooked, I haven't given raw foods a chance. Like, I haven't done any really fully raw days, so I don't know. But I do feel good eating high raw, like raw till four. Um, but I feel fine eating starches too. So. The biggest difference is just cutting out the processed foods. So no processed vegan foods. What do you do with clothes and things that are made from animals that you acquire before going vegan? I got rid of most stuff. I've never really was a big leather fan, so I didn't have a ton of leather things. I think I had a leather purse that I never used, so I donated that. Um, I had a leather wallet that I held onto for a long time because I really loved it. Um, but I finally got rid of it because I was using it every day and I just I just, yeah, every time I had to pay for something, I was reminded of it, so I actually donated it. Uh, what motivated you to get that tat? This is Funky Flying Pigtails. Will you get another one someday? Uh, she's, I think she's talking about my banana tattoo on my arm. Uh, I was motivated, I don't know, I was just a spur of the moment thing when I was in St. Martin. And I think Kaylee was telling me that the, they knew a vegan tattoo artist, so I was like, hmm. So I just went online and started looking at what I would want to get, and I found the Andy Warhol banana, and I wanted something vegan or fruity or whatever, and I thought banana would be perfect. Will I get another Sunday? Yes, I would like to get a flying pig tattoo, which I've mentioned in a previous video, and I plan on getting it hopefully in the next few months. I love your intro. How did you do that? What program did you use? I drew it in a program called Sketch Club, and that program has a record feature, so it records my drawing while I'm drawing. And then I just save the recording and import it into iMovie and speed it up. That's all I did. <laughs> Can you please share what brand of vegetable bouillon you're using? Um, I don't have the one that she wanted me to show her, but this is the one I buy most often. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Focus. It's from, I get it at Whole Foods, it's organic, no salt added vegetable bouillon cubes. 
So this is one I get most often. I think it is yellow. The other one, I can't remember the brand, but I also got it at Whole Foods as well. It's just sometimes they don't have the no salt version. So I get whatever one they have without the added salt. Uh, what is the sauce you're dipping your potato wedges in? Uh, I think she's referring to the mustard maple sauce, which is my honey mustard replacement. I got the idea from plant-based athlete and you just basically mix equal parts mustard with maple syrup. I like it with Dijon mustard. Love your workout clothes. Where did you get them? Uh, I've been getting my workout pants from Lowell, Lowell Woman, and the bra, the sports bra. I really love it. So, and they're the most comfortable yoga pants that I've ever had. Like the inside of them are so soft and I hate to say it, but um, Noli Yoga pants are not nearly as comfortable as these. <laughs> Sorry Noli. And this is from Banana TV from a year ago. <laughs> if I, if you were to give one piece of advice for new vegans, what would it be? And what's your favorite part about being on YouTube? Uh, one piece of advice for new vegans, that would be to transform the meals you eat now into the vegan version just to start out so that you're not totally overwhelmed and make sure you're eating enough. That's the biggest mistake I think people do when they transition. Um, <clears throat> just because vegan food generally is, in, is lower in calories except for the really heavily processed stuff. But um, I find if you're not eating enough, you end up craving your old foods and people could go back to what they used to be eating. So what's your favorite part about being on YouTube? I would say the community, uh, interacting with you guys. And I think YouTube's a confidence builder for me personally. I, when I started YouTube, I was so scared. <laughs> My name is Janine and I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada. Uh, and this is Penny. Yeah, I think it's a really good confidence builder for speaking. I'm still not that great at it, but <laughs> uh, practice, 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 practice makes perfect. Right, I'm so. back after work for the last question of the day and I just want to show you something I got in the mail today. I ordered this shirt from Tone That Fat and it says vegan. Back. Uh, just in time for the St. Patrick's Day race I'm doing on Saturday so now I have a green shirt to wear. I also got a pink tank top similar on the front and on the back instead of the other design it has go vegan with the barcode so really excited about that check out tonethatfat.com she also has a youtube channel as well i'll link down below so the last question is on instagram from carolyn how do you find being on a high carb vegan lifestyle helps with healing hashimoto's i do know my antibodies have come down i just don't know at what point they came down so they are low right now so I would say that's a pretty good indicator that what I'm doing right now is working pretty good. Um, this lifestyle has helped a lot because it gives me a lot of energy. Um, I'm eating whole plant foods. I'm not eating processed crap. Being vegan prior to going high carb, low fat, I noticed a huge difference in my energy from just being a regular vegan to high carb, low fat. So uh, if you have Hashimoto's, you might want to consider uh, carbon up <laughs> and playing with the ratios too. I find I do better if I eat about 10% fat where some people will feel better with five. So I do think there's a little range there that you can play around with. But anyway, that's the last question of the day. Um, comment down below if you have any more questions and I'll include it for the next one. Excuse me, uh, I hate to break it to you, but Bacon causes cancer. It's a scientific fact.